Hey guys, Matty Gazelle here. Uh, just finished watching the premiere of Samurai Jack Season 5, and I have a lot to talk about. I usually don't do stuff like this, but Samurai Jack is very... Uh, it was kind of the best cartoon in my childhood, so... when I, Man, I have so much racing through my mind right now. I just watched it. I'm not a professional reviewer by any means. This is just a fan sort of saying um, what I thought of it, because, man, 13 years almost have gone by since Samurai Jack was... On the air, and I just watched the live stream with the Gendy Tartakovsky uh, question and answer. And uh, man, okay, <sighs> okay. So, first thing I want to talk about, I'll just go through a little bit everything one by one, so I'll just ramble forever about nothing. Um, the art style, fantastic. It took what Samurai Jack was originally back when the TVs were uh, square and whatnot, and they Buffed it up, widescreen, it looks absolutely beautiful. They say that every scene, you can take a screenshot of that scene, and it'll basically be a work of art. They're not even kidding. Like, that was, it was simply fantastic. The opening scene where it's sort of the distance, you see the windmill, and the explosion goes off, and all the robots surround the two aliens, and then you see Jack rolling up on his motorcycle like a badass. It was simply amazing. Not to mention when he's driving through the woods on his motorcycle, um, the trees looked beautiful, the water looked beautiful, the flashbacks that he had with uh, the people that he's let down or he thinks he's let down from his past as they kind of float down the river in a really like, crazy scene. Um, it's pretty obvious that Jack has been through a lot mentally since uh, we last saw him. Not to mention we see uh, this new bounty hunter, which is a really cool guy. He's like, do a little bee bop bop, or whatever, and he says, like, random crap with his uh, flute and whatnot. And it makes swords and different things kind of morph together and create enemies. Uh, visually, it was absolutely everything I could have wanted from Samurai Jack and more. Congrats to you, Gandhi Tartakovsky, and your crew. You have done a fantastic job. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is Jack himself. Uh, this is not the same Jack that we last saw. He is no longer a good, pure-hearted uh, warrior from the past. This guy has been through hell. Uh, we saw him lose his sword. We saw him driving his motorcycle and seeing trouble in the distance, like an explosion. Normally, the old Jack would have gone to go help, like, right away. Instead, he looks at it and is like, just drives away. Um... And then after he feels the guilt from his like flashbacks that he had, he he's like, okay, I gotta get out of here now and go try to remedy this. It's really weird. Um, I wonder if that's a theme that's gonna continue throughout the season. If we're gonna get this Jack that's sort of tired of fighting the good fight, but every time his flashbacks come back, he's like, okay, I'm back on it. I'm back on the good fight. Just please stop like messing with my head. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like. Uh, again, but it's only the first episode, so we don't really know for sure. Um, Jack, he. As he's fighting this robot assassin, this assassin's pr very well combat ready, as we can see. He's very proficient in what he does, and he even says, like, I'm Jakku's favorite baby, or uh, Aku's favorite baby, and he, like, calls him on the phone. I love that scene. And you get, like, Jack, or uh, Aku on the other end, like, who is this? And uh, I really like that. Uh, I, that's a little snippet of what Aku sounds like now, and he sounds good. I know they got the understudy from make, uh, Mako to do that. So I think... I think all like all the voice acting is going to be spot on. I think Phil Lamar is going to do a fantastic job as Jack. He didn't talk a whole lot in this one. I guess he kind of did a little bit for Jack. Um, but yeah, okay, moving on to the actual... This is a spoiler, by the way. If you, have, if you couldn't tell by now, this is a very spoiler-filled uh, review. Um, to the plot itself, we had Jack rescue the two aliens, and then he goes off by himself, and we see the classic somber kind of quiet scenes where it's him kind of by himself in the woods, even though he's getting these flashbacks from, like, his dad and stuff like that. And it's I am intrigued to see what they do with Jack because they clearly show him as a tormented soul and they keep they giving him these flashbacks of his failures and his his deepest emotions. And I, I hope he gets a sword back, first of all, because it's cool seeing him use guns and other things that we don't uh, ever see him use. The motorcycle especially, it's kind of weird. But I like it. I like how they're trying something new, and I think he has to get a sword back eventually. I mean, you can't you can't beat a coup without the sword. So how he gets that back, we'll only have to wait and see. Um, 
And then it ends with him sort of just beating the assassin. He cuts him in half. And the assassin, by the way, is a really unique uh, character. I haven't really talked about him a whole lot. But he's like, I'm his, I'm his favorite baby. And he's got like a, kind of like a suave way about him. Uh, he's dead, though, so he's not going to return for any of the other episodes or anything. But as for the first episode goes, uh, Samurai Jack, it surprised me in the sense I, I've heard, obviously I've been talking about the tone being a lot darker. Um but I had no idea that it would be this dark, and I had no idea that um, we'd get this many flashbacks. I, I was expecting maybe a few flashbacks here and there, but he was like he was like talking to rocks during the fight with the assassin. He's like looking at these rocks, and the assassin's like, "Man, you've lost your crap, haven't you?" And it's really sad. It made me sad because Jack, we know him to be such a strong-willed person and a character that when you see him basically at the end of the line, just broken down like physically he can still fight and do everything that he used to do but it's almost like the life is kind of sucked out of him and i hope as the series goes on it kind of comes back as you know he reunites with the scotsman and he gets hopefully gets his sore back um there's going to be some sort of trigger as to what kind of brings him back uh the one thing i haven't talked about yet is the sort of uh the seven assassins that are training under this like coup of uh Evil people. I don't know what I don't know what they call themselves. I didn't really remember. Um, it starts off with a really weird scene where the woman's giving birth to seven kids. Like that's a lot of kids to give birth to. So I wonder if that's like if that's Aku's magic doing. If so, that's kind of weird. But it's like okay, you're you're getting darker with your show. That's cool and all. Um, but they, these kids are like born basically to fight Jack, and it's really crazy. And that's sort of where we get to some of the best visual artwork, I think, is when we uh, see the see the train as they grow up. It's really, really well done. Um, the voice for the kind of the leader of the group, she I think that's Azula, the girl who plays Azula. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's her. If not, it's got to be someone pretty close. Um, but yeah, and you see the girl kind of like see sunlight for the first time. Like she looks at her hand and it's got this ray of sun coming through the crack in the wall. As they're getting beat up by this like buff like chick who's just pummeling all of them, trying to train them, it was really well done. It's it's everything I loved from the first Samurai Jack kind of cranked up a notch, and it realizes now we're more mature. Obviously, it's on Adult Swim, so you know. Uh, what did you guys think about this? I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was everything that I could have possibly wanted from a Samurai Jack kind of final season. Um, yeah, I think I got everything I really wanted to say. I mean, I have a lot more going through my mind, but I don't want to ramble forever. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, yeah, we still have nine more episodes to go. We have a lot more to discuss. I'll be doing a video of this every week, pretty much. I'll do a reaction every single week, sort of giving my thoughts of that episode. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here as part of my family, and uh, just enjoy these videos that are to come. So. Until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle, and I hope you all have a mighty day. Samurai Jack is officially back, baby. Took long enough.